Here we're looking at three different types of manual reset type rollout switches. Now this one here, it's the one I showed you had the button on it. This one's going to pop out and of course it has to be reset before the uh, burner will come back on. This one's just a different style with the pop out on it. This one here is different from both of these because that's a fuse. That's a high temperature fuse. Uh, there are different ratings for these things. Uh, these are, all these things are only like replacements. Uh, that means a factory replacement. You can't use anything else in these applications except the ones that were designed for that furnace. Here we're looking at a furnace with a rollout switch. That's the thing right in the center. So if the flame, and you can see the burners down below, if the flame comes out the front, that, and that one's a fuse, it will kick off and it will not reset. Here's another example of a rollout switch. This one's a manual re reset. And you notice it's right above the burners. And so if there's a rollout the front of it, it will shut off and not reset. Now here is a third example of a rollout switch. Now you can see the button in the center of it. Now, interesting thing about this one, this one's not a factory replacement rollout switch. That is a, an aftermarket switch that was placed in there. It's the incorrect switch for this furnace. It was put in there because the furnace had a rollout. The furnace had a rollout because it had a cracked heat exchanger. So this was the first thing done to repair it. Obviously, that should not have been done. Limit switches do fail, but rollout switches, I'm really concerned about when I see a rollout switch that has been replaced with a non-factory. So rollout switches, very important safety device for furnaces. Should not be replaced with anything other than factory switches. Okay, that's it on rollout switches.